Hello everyone! Sri Lanka is an amazing travel destination offering a wide range of places to visit. This island, located in the Indian Ocean off the coast of India, presents visitors with an incredible array of environments to enjoy and experience. Travelers can trace the island's fascinating history from ancient times through the colonial period to the present in cities like Colombo and Kandy. This relatively compact island boasts eight UNESCO World Heritage Sites where that history is preserved. When planning a Sri Lankan adventure, keep in mind that the country experiences its rainy season from May to August. Plan your travel with a list of the best places to visit in Sri Lanka. Number 10. Tangele As an island, Sri Lanka is surrounded by beaches and there really is something for everyone. For a diverse range of beach experiences, head to the Tangele area. It's in the center of the southern coast of the island and a popular resort destination. You'll find a wide range of beaches in this area, from tropical coves to wide, windswept, seemingly endless stretches of open sand. You can also find beaches with services, vendors and beachfront stands as well as remote beaches where you are almost certain to find yourself alone. Number 9. Poland Narwa This is an important ancient city, ruined site, another one of the country's world heritage sites. Poland Narwa was Sri Lanka's second capital city after Anuradhapura thriving about a thousand years ago. The garden city is completely preserved, although most of the structures are in ruins. There are gardens, palaces and temples, and while it's rather compact, it's best explored by bicycles. A bonus, the ruins are inhabited by a large group of macaques, also residents of the area since ancient times. There's a small, modern town a few miles from the ruins with guest houses bike renters, cafes, and other tourist services. Number 8. Anuradhapura A visit to Anuradhapura, one of the country's ancient capitals, rewards visitors with a glimpse into the past. The area is unique as there's a thriving, modern little town adjacent to an ancient one. You're not just visiting ruins. It's a fun place to visit and stay for a night or two. The ruins are awesome with many crumbling temples, statues, pools and other structures. There are modern structures too and the temple remains an active place of worship. The core of the complex is a tree, a very old tree. The Sri Mahabodhi is believed to be the world's oldest living tree planted by a human. Number 7. Yala National Park Located on the island's southeast coast, this national park is known for leopard safaris. The leopards are very rare, but the park has a large population and it's possible to spot them even on a day trip. The park is also home to a large population of Asian elephants which are endemic to Sri Lanka. Aside from the fauna, the park is home to some incredible, varied environments and ecosystems. You can visit the marine and beach environment of the coastal areas, follow leopards across vast grasslands, or explore tropical rainforests. Number 6. Galay Face Green Sri Lanka's version of Alice, Venice Beach, is in the place to get away from it all. But it is the place to relax, people watch and have some fun with other Sri Lankans, whether it's day or night. 
Aside from the beach, there's a large grass area where people picnic and play games. For the best energy, visit on a Friday or Saturday night. You can enjoy the beach and water or maybe fly a kite in the ever-present wind. You can play some football or cricket as there are always pickup games going on. The beach is fronted by vendors and restaurants and the area beyond it is filled with hotels ranging in price from budget to luxury. Number 5. Hikadua Beach Only 90 minutes from Colombo, this beach is all about water sports, surfing, bodyboarding, snorkeling, and scuba diving. All the gear is easily available for rent from one of the beachfront stands. It's one of the country's best surfing areas with the best waves between November and March. The beach is large, so it never feels too crowded. There are a lot of beachfront stands selling all kinds of delicious local street food and a good number of small hotels and guest houses if you want to stay overnight. The Hikadua Coral Sanctuary is a preserved marine area and part of Hikadua National Park located just off the shoreline. Number 4. Gali The city of Gali is about a two-hour drive from Colombo via one of the country's first modern superhighways. This ancient trading port mainly reflects its colonial history and is focused around a large 17th century seafront fort. Galley Fort is an entire preserved walled town, now filled with boutique hotels, shops, and restaurants. The entire area is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. This is a great place to explore on foot. The entire fort area is scar free. It's hard to get lost as you are surrounded on three sides by sea. Number 3 Udawalawe National Park. This large wildlife park is in the southern part of the country. The terrain and environment vary as the park is on the border of the country's wet and dry zones. Visitors to the park can see elephants as there's a large population of them, along with crocodiles, water buffalo, and more. In fact, it's one of the best places in the world to see elephants in the wild. There are leopards there, but they can be very hard to track or spot. There are also monkeys and a large assortment of deer and small mammals. It's also an excellent place for bird watching. Number 2. Kandy Located in central Sri Lanka, Kandy is the former capital city of the Sri Lankan royal dynasty. The country's main capital before the colonial period. The high point of what's called the Candian era was between the 15th and the 18th centuries, when the area remained independent while most of the coastal regions were colonized by European powers. Be sure to visit the city's National Museum of Candy as it illustrates the story of the region and its people via exhibits and artifacts. Nearby, the Temple of the Sacred Tooth Relic is a very holy Buddhist shrine, part of the Royal Palace Complex. Number 1. Colombo The capital combines modern urban amenities with the country's colorful indigenous and colonial history. As a key stop on the world's spice trade routes, Sri Lanka has long held strategic importance for European trading power. You can taste these influences in food, see them in architecture and the arts, and you can really feel them in Colombo. The city is also filled with museums and other things to see and do that can help connect you with Sri Lankan culture. Colombo sits on the coast and there's a large green space and beach area right in the heart of the city separating an area called Fort 
from the Indian Ocean. It's the city's public playground and a fun place to visit, especially on Friday and Saturday nights.